Hello, this is Lorenzo from Event Espresso, and in this video, I'll show you how to set up a church service registration with Event Espresso. If you're planning an event like a worship service, Sunday service, or a mass, then this video is for you. Right now, we are viewing the event editor. What I'll do next is I will paste in some details about an example event, and we can take a look at them together. So for this example, it is a service registration, and there are two dates and times. So it's Sunday, August 2nd from 9 a.m. till 10 a.m. Then there is a second service later in the day at 11 a.m. till 12 p.m. And then we'll have two registration options, so one for that 9 a.m. service and one more for that 11 a.m. service. So those are the details that we'll be working with. Let's continue with this setup by entering in a title. So I'll click up here at the top for the title and I'll enter in Sunday, August 2nd services. Then I'll scroll down to the date times and tickets area here. So the first date and time that we have is August 2nd from 9 a.m. till 10 a.m. So what I'll do is I'll come to this event start area here, click on it, and then choose the correct date, and then use the slider here to move that to the correct time. Okay, so August 2nd, and then I use the slider to move it till 9 a.m. So I'll click on done, and now I'm going to click on this date and time here to set that end time. So again, August 2nd, and then we'll use the slider and move it back until 10 a.m and then click on done. So we've just set up that first date and time. Now it's time to set up that secondary service, which is 11 a.m. till 12 p.m. What you can do to save a little bit of time is to use this duplicate icon here. So what I'll do is I'll click on it and it creates a copy of that ex original or existing date time. And then we can click on that and then just update the details. So we'll shift that from 9 a.m. to 11. And it has automatically bumped that hour so that it matches up correctly. So to add a little bit of clarity, what we can do is add in a name for each of these. So we'll say 9 a.m. service and then 11 a.m. service. Okay, so we've got those dates and times set up. Next, it's time to set up the registration options. So what I'll do is I'll rename this uh, default free ticket to 9 a.m. service. We'll leave that start date and time, and then we'll adjust this sell until time. This uh, time and date that is set here is the time and date that you would like the system to close out registration. So let's say we would like to allow registrations up until an hour before. In our case, first service begins at 9 a.m., so this will close out an hour before at 8. So I'll click on Done. And there are no fees or charges for this uh, event, so we'll leave that at zero. For the quantity, we have to set this to a capacity limit. So let's say we can safely hold up to 75 members. We'll set that to 75. Okay, so we've just set up that first registration option. Now what I need to do next is to set up that second registration option for that second service. Again, to save a little bit of time, what we can do is use that duplicate icon here, and I'll click on it. And what that does is it creates a copy, and then I can go in and just adjust the details that I need to. So I've updated the title. Let's leave that uh, the remaining details here. And now what I need to do is to adjust the access for the registration options and the date times. The simplest way to think about this is to say if someone registers for the 9 a.m. service that they are being booked or registered for just that service. Let me show you what this means. I'm going to come up here and hover over this gear icon for that 9 a.m. service. Then I'm going to click on it. And right now, that 9 a.m. service is connected to the 9 a.m. service and also the 11 a.m. service. So what I'm going to do is drop or disconnect the 11 a.m. service by removing that check mark. And then I can click on close. 
and then we're going to uh, do the equivalent for that 11 a.m. service. So again, click on that gear icon here. And since this is the 11 a.m. service, we want to disconnect or remove the registration option for that 9 a.m. service. So I hope that makes sense. So earlier, when we initially set these up, if someone was to register for either of these, they'd kind of be booked onto both services, which isn't accurate, especially if you need to safely maintain capacity limits. So what I did is I went to that gear icon and just made sure that each service is connected to the matching registration option. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll come up to the top and I'll click on that save draft button up here. And then what I'll do is I'll open up that link in a new tab and let's check, take a look at it together. So here is the event that we set up together. Again, this is for church services and we are offering two service slots. So we have a 9 a.m. service and we also have an 11 a.m. service. So you could use this approach to create additional services if you were to have additional services throughout the day. This approach will also work if you have a single service. For example, let's say you just have a service at 9 a.m. That will also work for you. So let me go back to this other tab here. So the next step from here would be to come down, select your venue, which would be your church location. Of course, update the details here so they're tailored towards your organization and then click on publish. And once you do that, then your members and guests can start registering for your services. So that is an overview of how you can set up a church service registration using Event Espresso. Thank you.